Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dinosaur Island. Our episode starts at the northern watering hole. As the wet season continues, the area around the watering hole also has become increasingly lush. Stoneback approaches to drink. Para is not far away. <coughs> Unfortunately for the two, all the vibrations they are sending through the water are attracting carnivores. It is a large male Dinosuchus, but not just any Dinosuchus. It is, of course, Jasper. It seems that no matter how many times we plan on not showing him in the show, he just seems to show up every season. <coughs> Para manages to get away in time. <coughs> the Dinosuchus is trying desperately to get his teeth to penetrate the thick armor on Stoneback's neck, but his armor is far too tough. And eventually, the Dinosuchus has no choice but to give up. Jasper will have to find food later. Across the way on the opposite bank of the watering hole, we see a very different couple of dinosaurs. It is the female Spinosaurus. But it is not just the female Spinosaurus. Redsail is also here. Although it has taken a long time, he has finally managed to convince her to accept him as her mate. They have already mated several times, and will continue to do so for many days to try and get her to become gravid. It turns out that for some reason, Spinosaurs have one of the hardest times getting to be gravid of any species of dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Meanwhile, we find ourselves near the dark woodland on the south side of the island. Bloodtooth is hunting. Alone, for today at least. Although we have observed the Tyrannosaur pack hunting as a group in the past, most of the time, if they can get away with it, they'll only send one of their pack members out to bring food back to the rest. And today, the selected hunter is Bloodtooth. Bloodtooth sees what could be a possible prey animal. A couple hundred meters away, there stands a creature that is very, very rare on the island. It is a bull moose. This is one of the few non-prehistoric creatures that lives on Dinosaur Island, and the largest mammal on the island as well. They are incredibly rare and incredibly fast which means that Bloodtooth will have to get very close to the animal before attacking. She is ready to attack. <laughs> Bloodtooth is not fast enough. Not nearly. However, not being able to catch her pack some dinner is the least of her worries. This is not the same Carnotaurus that we have seen a couple times before. This is a larger individual. A female. 
The Carnotaurus is sick of dinosaurs like Bloodtooth coming into her territory all the time, and she's even more sick of the fact that she is always too timid to attack them. She now has a cunning plan that will allow her to take on even something as powerful as Bloodtooth. She begins, trying at least, to scale a large, well, bigger than large, a truly massive boulder. With her powerful foot, the Carnotaurus has managed to rip a huge hole into Bloodtooth's gut. Bloodtooth manages to get up despite her bad injuries. At this point, most other dinosaurs would retreat. But Bloodtooth has been through too much at this point. She has been here for three years, three seasons of Dinosaur Island. She's fallen down cliffs, faced massive and powerful enemies, and she will not let this little Carnotaurus get the best of her. <laughs> The Carnotaurus is dying, but Bloodtooth will not just let her suffer there. She must ensure that the Carnotaurus does not survive. With the power of her huge, strong back legs, she snaps the Carnotaurus's neck. of this episode, we shall return to the northern watering hole. It is late afternoon now, and all the other animals we saw here earlier have now left, besides Jasper, of course. But a very unique dinosaur is about to come into view, and a very rare one. It is a Suchomimus, a relative of Spinosaurus, minus the spine, of course. Like Spinosaurus, these animals love water and they primarily eat fish, like Baryonyxes. He is drinking peacefully, when suddenly, he is attacked. The Suchomimus retreats. The attacker was this adult male Baryonyx. But this is not just any Baryonyx. It is Onyx's son, an animal that we have not seen since the very first episode of Season 2, and that was just part of a little montage recapping what happened in the last episode of season one, or the last few episodes. The last time we really saw this guy, he was a tiny baby, barely big enough to walk along next to his parents. We will not give him a name, for we do not plan on making this guy a main character, but nonetheless, it is great to see an old character return, even if it is just for a few minutes. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Dinosaur Island.